The link between the lungs and the thoracic wall is a prime example of the body's intricate and finely tuned design. This connection is primarily sustained by two crucial factors, the surface tension created by the pleural fluid and the negative pressure within the pleural cavity. Together, these mechanisms ensure that the lungs remain closely attached to the thoracic wall, allowing for efficient expansion and contraction with each breath, which is what we're going to cover in this quick video. The pleural cavity, which lies between the lungs and the thoracic wall, plays a central role in this process. It is a thin, fluid-filled space that ensures minimal friction between the lungs and the chest wall during breathing. The pleura, a membrane that envelops the lungs, consists of two layers. The visceral pleura, which is attached to the surface of the lungs, and the parietal pleura, which lines the inner surface of the thoracic wall. The space between these two layers contains pleural fluid secreted by the pleura itself. The pleural fluid is more than just a lubricant, it is crucial in creating surface tension. This tension is a result of the molecular attraction between the fluid molecules, causing the layers of the pleura to stick together. Imagine it like two wet glass slides pressed against each other. They are difficult to pull apart due to the surface tension of the water between them. Similarly, this surface tension in the pleural fluid acts to adhere the lungs to the thoracic wall. As a result, when the thoracic wall expands or contracts during breathing, the lungs follow suit. This adhesion is vital for the efficient transfer of forces during the act of breathing, ensuring that the lungs inflate and deflate in sync with the chest wall's movements. Another key element in this connection is the negative pressure in the pleural cavity, also known as the intrapleural pressure. This pressure is slightly less than the atmospheric pressure, creating a vacuum effect that holds the lungs against the thoracic wall. The negative pressure is essential in keeping the lungs inflated, because without it, the lungs would collapse. It's a delicate balance as any breach in the pleural cavity, such as from a wound or medical condition, can lead to the loss of this negative pressure, causing a pneumothorax. This negative pressure is maintained by the elasticity of the lungs and the thoracic wall. The lungs have a natural tendency to recoil inward due to their elastic properties, while the chest wall has a tendency to recoil outward. These opposing forces create a subatmospheric pressure in the pleural cavity. This delicate balance ensures that the lungs are held snugly against the thoracic wall, allowing for efficient breathing mechanics. But as previously mentioned, the relationship between the lungs and the thoracic wall is a sophisticated interplay of physical forces. The surface tension from the pleural fluid and the negative pressure within the pleural cavity work in unison to maintain this vital connection. This intricate system highlights the efficiency and complexity of the human body's design, ensuring that we can breathe effortlessly without conscious thought. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.